Welcome to the user guide and wiki video. Let's first take a look at the user guide, which we can find here on the derivative website. We just need to go to the learn menu and select user guide. This user guide is a detailed resource with all things touch designer. Here on the main page, we have some key information like what's new, release notes, finding out about official builds, as well as experimental builds and release notes. We have the downloads as well as the licensing. There is also a section on getting started. So getting started tips and first things to know about touch designer. There are references for tutorials and workshop videos, as well as additional documentation, which can be found here on the left hand side as well. So we have a glossary, which you can reference here, Python, which is also linked out here on the left hand side. We have sample components, tools, and examples like op snippets, the palette browser, as well as community assets. We of course have a link out to the derivative forum, a section on white papers and topics, which is a great way to look more in depth to a specific topic or something you might be researching. The touch designer video server specification guide is incredibly helpful for looking at details for what you might need to consider when building a server. If you want to use touch designer. Additionally, there is an online courses section. This section here, they are paid courses, but there are some useful tutorials and workshops that might be interesting to you. There is another resources section, and this section has a helpful link for books to help you learn touch designer, a link to the FAQ, which you can also find here on the left hand side and additional projects and resources. So this user guide has a ton of information. It is one long page and really helpful for getting started with touch designer and also learning more and getting deeper into it. We can also go to the wiki format. So this is a user guide similar to this, um, just in the wiki format. So we clicked on that. And now we're here in the wiki. This is docs.derivative.ca. And this has all the same information as the user guide just slightly formatted differently. And here we can see again, this is all that we saw before with similar links here on the left hand side with some additional links as well. So if you're ever trying to get to the wiki, I, this may look familiar and that's because it's the main resource that we use whenever we're uh, looking for help with a specific operator or anything like that. And you can access the wiki and touch designer in three ways. The first is by clicking on the wiki button. The second is using the question mark icons here on the parameter dialog. So the help and the Python help. And there's another way to access the wiki information, and that is on a specific parameter. So for example, here in this play mode, I can actually right click on the parameter and there is a parameter help section. And when I hover over the parameter help section, I can actually see that this specifies additional details and it fetches information about that parameter from the wiki. So I can show that one more time here on speed. If I expand that and then right click on speed, navigate to parameter help. And now I have all of this useful information about the parameter without actually having to jump to the wiki, but it is the information that you would find on the wiki. And then I'll just pull this back up here just to highlight a couple more things. So there is a learn touch designer section that condenses some of the information from the user guide just on one page about learning touch designer. There is also an interoperability section. This is an incredible resource. If you're working with any devices, protocols, or software tools that will be interfacing with touch designer. So anything from web browser tools, microcontrollers, virtual reality, DMX, you name it, video capture cards, super useful tool. Love this interoperability page. Additionally, we have the glossary. The glossary is really good for exploring concepts, terminology, and architecture of touch designer. So if you're ever confused or want to learn a little bit more about something in touch designer and you're, you know, not sure where to look, the glossary is a great place to look just to look at the references of 
um, what spe specific terminology means inside of touch designer. So that is a quick look at the wiki and the user guide.